morning. Uh, it is Travel uh, Trailer Tuesday here at Colton RV. Again, my name is Matt Smith. Um, you see me every week now. Uh, so we're going to go over, we have a 2020 Grand Design 29 Jeep toy hauler here uh, that we mount. So that's going to be uh, uh, one of our top lines travel trailer toy haulers that we have for, for uh, uh, the toy haulers for the travel trailer. So a couple things I want to go through is uh, the uh, full cap design on these. Full fiberglass, out of body paint on them. And nice LED lights uh, for uh, being able to find the camper in the middle of the night, which is, you know, you leave it on, come back, and you'll be able to find it no problem. Uh, you have the stone guard um, here for protection, so no rocks kick up. You got two propane, 20 gallon propane tanks on this. Power tongue jack, uh, which you're going to find in the uh, power tongue jacks, you're always going to have some type of manual backup. So there's a little boot up here, you can pop that off and actually crank it up and down if you need power to your jack. So there's a nice manual backup to that. Um, one thing that uh, I haven't really talked about is safety chains on the uh, travel trailers. When you're using these safety chains, you always want to make sure that you, when you're clipping them on, you're going to crisscross these. All right. So when you're putting them on your truck, make sure they're crisscross and make sure they're latched all the way. Do not use your brake control safety the harness here. Don't use that to clip onto this. Have that separate. Um, just in case these ever break off, you still have that safety of uh, your, if it ever breaks away from your truck, you'll have that safety knowing that your brakes are going to uh, lock up so the camper will stop uh, if it comes to uh, dis uh, disengage from the truck. Uh, around here, we're going to go around and kind of show you some things. We didn't open this up today. I want to demonstrate opening this for you so you can see what the sides look like closed here. Here, uh, what uh, Grand Design's doing is they're giving you the option of turn signal cameras. Uh, so these are going to be on the side mount, so you can upgrade these so that way it shows the whole view of your blind side while you're traveling. Um, and uh, it, it actually will come together so you can have the turn signals and then the rear camera uh, set up with the query on here. You get the Owens uh, 4000 generator on this. This is gas run. So what you're going to find as we get to the back, you have your own uh, uh, portable gas tank in this thing uh, with a fuel station, which is going to be nice. Uh, if you have ATVs, dirt bikes, and stuff like that, you want to you don't want to have to bring gas cans. You're going to have uh, its own little area to uh, carry um, your, your gasoline with you. Um, so here is uh, your your command station. You got your battery disconnect, uh, outdoor shower with hot cold water. And then you can fill your tanks here, city water, fresh water tank there. Um, here is the cap right here. So you run the hose up through here and through this, and that way you can still close this door. And then you got a little uh, cubby area with the most sense light in here. And then this is on the magnet, so this door won't slam while you're trying to set up everything. Close this door, latch it, and you're good to go. You got a... Uh, Black tank and gray tank uh, drains here. They're pretty close together. It keeps it nice and simple for you. Uh, your valves are all down uh, underneath with it. A lot of people say, what's this right here? This is your generator exhaust port. Uh, that will get hot, so you want to make sure you keep this area clear. Nothing uh, that can melt or catch fire. These are your fridge uh, vents here, and then you got your hot water tank. Uh, a lot of people, uh, to open these up, which you're going to find. Here's your hot water area. Right now it's winterized, so the plug's out. Uh, we could do a video if ever anybody wants to see how you set up uh, from being winterized, but right now you can see this is still winterized. Here's your vent for your heater. Again, that's nice. It's on the opposite side of the campground on this one, so that way all the hot air is going to blow over here. So you have your 30 amp. This is a 30 amp uh, service on this one. It has one AC. And here's uh, um, your black tank valve poles over here too. On uh, the tires are aluminum rims with nitrogen fill. So that helps for the heat and uh, the expansion contraction of the tire. So it won't do that. And then you got your torque wheel lugs on this. Uh, um, so actually, I'll skip that part. Uh, Again, this is a G-Class, G-Class is for lighter weight. Uh, this weight on this one, 
I'll double check here. I want to make sure uh, unloaded weight is 8,300 pounds. So it's a 29 foot living space, total of 33 11 inches lengthwise from tongue to the very back here. You got your uh, windows throughout the garage area here. But this is uh, my favorite part of a toy hauler. Uh, when you upgrade, you got your fuel station here. So you can fill this up full of, uh, full of uh, gasoline in here. And then uh, you got your hose and your pump station here. And you got a gauge to actually tell you how much is in there. Your fuel station will uh, run your, your uh, generator too. So you can run your generator a lot longer. You don't have to fill it up like a portable generator every couple hours. On this one, it has the scissor jacks on them. There's no, uh, they, they don't have the power jacks on this one. Again, it's to keep it lighter weight, um, so they don't uh, they don't put the power on there. But again, just bring your battery gun, drill gun out, and uh, that, those will zip down pretty quick for you. Then you got an access ladder on the side uh, to the roof here, so you can walk down the roof here. It's a uh, walkable roof. Easy, you pull the pins here, the ladder comes out, and then you can climb up. On this one here, uh, it does have an awning in the back. Uh, this is a manual awning on this one, an LED strip. Why Why do they have that back here? Because on this ramp, you have a party deck. So you'll see how easy this is. I'm just gonna do this one hand, step back a little, hit the camera in. One hand it down. I got the cables, aircraft grade cables on this one, which are adjusters here. 3,000 pounds uh, that you can put on this, and then uh, setting this up nice and easy. You can do it while you're standing in there. You just gotta pull pins. We'll demonstrate this today. Any questions so far? Why I set this up? Just that it's cool. cool. Yeah. I'm gonna go inside and do this. Go around here. Again, uh, you pull those pins. This is going to set up nice and easy. Then you pin them back in this area. Make sure nice and safe. The same on the other side. Go back in. That pin. Jigsaw puzzle here. Set in this area here. And then just pin them up again. For safety. Now, when you put your toys in there, all you gotta do is you take these pins out right here. Show them right here. Take the pins off the cables, right there, and then uh, it lays on the ground then so you can bring your toys inside here. Uh, I'll meet you on the other side here. So this uh, has two access doors, one to the garage here, and then one to the main living area. Um, and then we have a nice big uh, on, it, on this side to the power. Did everybody hear me? No one's complained. Uh, we're going to put the awning out first. We'll see how big this awning is. And then I'm going to put this slide out here. Brighten up your campground underneath this awning. Now I'm going to put the slide out. So on this uh, 
doesn't take long. The motor is uh, pretty strong. You can run this off your battery. You can also start your generator up too. But we're plugged into uh, the shoreline. So this will burn off nice and quick. There you go. A lot of people worry about the uh, slide being on the awning side, but we still have plenty of room here. We set up the picnic table we're up against this. We still got a lot of awning space on this. What we're going to do is uh, going to go in here. Uh, we're going to show you a couple of nice features about this floor plan where the bed slide is and all that. Come on in. I want to show you the control panel real quick. So you can start your generator here. And then uh, you can also watch your fuel gauge inside too. So not only is it outside, your fuel gauge is inside too. So you can tell when you start getting low, if you need to fill it up or if you need to, uh, you know, run the generator a little less, but at least you could plan your whole weekend along that. Um, awning light here, you got your gas electric water heater, you got your water pump. So if you're running your fresh water, that's the only time you're really going to use your water pump. And then your ceiling and exterior lights just for the main lights here. And then uh, the slide two here is going to be for this one. Let me turn the light on in here so you can watch that open here. So that slide's going to now open. As you see the slides going out, you notice this is just a fold over bed. So that's out. And then the next thing you really have to do is just put your bed down. So now you got a nice walk around area here for your bed. Uh, storage above the bed. The, uh, these are just push buttons so that way you can turn in it, uh, your own light on and off for each side of the bed. Over here in the dresser area, you got your USB ports here. Um, turn this light on. So you got a little uh, light underneath. Drawers under here. And then uh, your circuit breaker fuse box is in here. And then uh, you got even uh, a cubby hole here for hang up uh, clothes. I see Chris Van Heis is uh, watching us here. Hi, Chris. <laughs> this is what you. This is what I was talking about yesterday, Chris. So you know. Uh, this is uh, the one with the generator and everything else, all right? Uh, this has got a pocket door here where it slides open and close, nice easy. And when you're traveling, you always make sure you lock this in. Uh, stand back there and uh, you can take a look at the shower. Nice tall shower in this one. Uh, one thing with um, the momentums, the very high ceilings all the way through. It's almost like being in a fifth wheel. That's how high these ceilings are. So it's a high profile on this. Shower with a wand, nice curtain, just get your sink, uh, porcelain toilet, so that's uh, well, one thing that's nice about between the plastic and porcelain, you're not going to get the stickiness uh, from the plastic uh, toilets. Medicine cabinet, I, um, turn these lights on, and the fan, you got your ceiling fan in this one to vent out, uh, but you do have uh, AC ducts in here and then your heat duct on the floor so your bathroom will be nice and cool or warm depending on the weather that you're uh, camping in. We'll go back to the living area here. Um, nice LED lights on top of the stove for the uh, stove top. Glass top covers which uh, fold back. Easy access to cooking and then if you need a, that space for, uh, for counter space even though there is a lot here and then there's another one over there um, you have that. Uh, this is actually uh, not just tape or wallpaper, it's actually thicker material. They don't, uh, they're not cheaping on that solid surface. And then uh, you got your stainless steel deep sink, one sink here. Um, again, the benefits of stainless steel is uh, you can put hot stuff in there and not worry about melting. And it's the recessed sink in these two. Um, pull down handle, residential handles. I mean, I have big hands, so you look at how big these are. Um, and they're not, they're wood, so you're not worried about uh, being cheaped out. And then uh, let's turn some lights on in here too. So you got even more cabinets here, more up there. You got your microwave, and this one still does come with an oven. So you got a lot of uh, 
access to the things, the drawer underneath, pots and pans, and then all your drawers. They're nice size drawers too, and they're wood. Underneath the sink, there's a, a waste basket, and uh, look at this. They design this so that all the piping is not in your way, so you don't lose space, which is really nice when you're trying to load everything up inside the camper here. Fridge size, you're looking at the uh, a cube, um, or yeah, nice size fridge. Propane electric. So again, propane while you're traveling. Once you plug into Shoreline, it automatically switches over to electric. You even get a subwoofer in here which is nice in the sound system, surround sound. Um, you got it outside, speakers outside, inside. Um, you got definitely uh, lots of space. Again, there's that, that control area, little cubby holes where you put keys and lighters and stuff like that from the campground. This is on a swing arm. So while you're sitting over in the seats over here, you can watch TV comfortably. Uh, it's movable so you can get to that. And then uh, your radio, CD player, DVD player, Bluetooth. So it's the Jensen upgrade. They upgraded uh, um, the sound system in this one here. This is supposed to be the party mobile. So um, all your LED lights gets nice and bright in here. Um, you also have a cup holder armrests here for the center section. So you can have that space in between. And if it's just the two of you, want to sit and relax. And then you could fit more people in, in the middle of it too. Look at this, even more counter, there's cabinet space. More in here. So you got all kinds of room. You even got plugs up here, USB ports underneath. So you could put a Cure coffee maker over here and keep your other counter space over there freed up. Um, again, so this is uh, most sense light uh, coming in. Um, Grand design again, they uh, keep all their ducting into the walls, so you'll notice there's no cuts on the floor. They put this floor down first, and then they put the cabinetry and everything else down afterwards. So they can warranty this floor for 10 years. That roof material, again, is that TPO material up there, 12 year warranty on your roof. As long as you keep it maintained, that's for manufacturer defects and all that. Um, the fun part, we're going to go in the garage now, and you're going to see uh, uh, what they got in here. So for a travel trailer, uh, they, they designed this, I, I think, more like a uh, uh, fifth wheel, because a lot of people are asking, well, I want a travel trailer, but I, I want the height, and I want the beds, and uh, the other half bath, which is right behind you, Bob. So you go in here, half bath. So your kids can sleep in here like a bunk room and have their own room here and uh, have their own bathroom and you still got your own bathroom in the front. They have an outdoor carpet that comes with this, the ladder that goes up to the top and then of course your, t uh, your uh, table area here and uh, they got a fold up table that can go out here too. Um, what I'm going to do is show you, I'm going to take this apart real quick and we're going to bring this uh, bed down so you can see how it works. As always, one always has to fall. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this off to the side for right now. Take these two. And you can see the tie downs they have all along here, all over the place. So, they've got enough here, even on the front over there. Put the tie downs. Bring, uh, put your ATVs in here, motorcycles. So this is how easy this is. Oh, you also have the storage above here. So there's two different things you can do with this. Um, I'm going to come on over here. So I'm going to put both beds down right now. I'll show you how this works. So as this comes down, there's actually a stopper for this one. You'll notice as it gets down to a certain height, it's going to stop and then this one continue to go down. That way you can have uh, two beds in here. So it should be right about there. Yep. So now you got two beds, right? So if you, you know, this will go all the way down to here. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, put it up. Uh, see if I got the pins here. 
for one I didn't check. There are pins to hold this bed up there. I don't see them. You can leave this bed up top by pinning it up there. So I'm going to put it back up. And it goes up there. Let me double check in here. I don't see it. <laughs> It'll make a liar out of me today. So you can see, just going up there. Again, the AC ducts are back here too. So this is gonna stay just as cool as the front area too. And then you got a heat duct over here, so it'll keep this heated too. Uh, there is insulation underneath the, uh, the floor here, so it's gonna stay nice and uh, warm. It's not gonna get too hot. And then as you see, when the bunks are down, you actually will have another light so separate so that they will get some light in between. Uh, just looking around. I don't see the uh, actual pins, so they must be in the packet in the fridge. So the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is in here is there actually is a, a screen mesh, um, so you can separate this living area um, for uh, for that there. So you put that down, and then uh, um, you can have that separation pulled back up uh, after you're done. Yeah, came out of track. Good, good live uh, feed here, right? <laughs> there it goes. All right, back in track. Um, so it, when these come down separate, it will come to a booth. Then you you can fold these chairs back, goes into a booth. But I, I don't have the pins to, to show that to you right now. Uh, you can also take these pins right here out and drop these down and have them. So say you have a uh, um, a higher frame quad or something like that, uh, side by side, you can pull these pins, the benches will lean against the wall, so you got that extra height clearance with it too. Any questions uh, that we have on there? Just Chris commenting that he talked about toy haulers yesterday. Yeah, we were just talking about it yesterday, and here I am showing one. Um, uh, again, what we do here is you'll see we do uh, all appointments only. When we come in, uh, we mask up uh, when we're in front of all our customers and, and we wipe down all our, our, our campers before you get here. So if you want to come in, take a look at a camper, give us a call ahead of time and uh, we can uh, make sure that the unit's uh, out front, wiped down uh, for you so you can feel safe coming in and uh, taking a look at a camper or two. Chris does have a question about how wide is the garage. He wants to know if he could put two full-size ATVs side by side in here. Uh, it is designed for it. Uh, it's about a little over seven foot wide. Uh, the actual unit is eight foot wide. So with the clearance, uh, it should be close to seven and a half, I believe. I'd have to double check that. Uh, let me see if I got it in here. Because this garage is eleven. This garage is eleven foot long. Um, it just uh, I don't know uh, exact width of it. I can get that for you, Chris. Though. There is a 30 gallon tank in this for the gas tank. So it holds 30 gallons. And let's see what else I may have missed. The awning is 18 feet long. Fresh water tank will hold 100 gallons. The gray is 74 and the uh, waste uh, uh, black tank is 39 gallons. Again, you got two tanks on this uh, because two separate bathrooms uh, for this one. There's 16 inch rims with G rated. Um, yeah, that's uh. I think I hit everything. That's a Rockford uh, speakers, sub, uh, the power subwoofer. And I think that's everything. Uh, if anybody has any questions, you can always comment later on this too. If you're watching this later, uh, put a comment. Somebody will uh, answer you. Uh, or you can give us a call here at 694-0188. Uh, that's the uh, line to the dealership. Give us a call. Let us know what you think. Uh, post some comments. Please share it. Uh, we're definitely trying to reach out to more and more customers uh, during this time. Uh, we are selling a lot of campers. Uh, things to keep in mind. The factories are just uh, about ramping up, I believe. Some of them are. Some are still closed. Um, so the inventory is going to get limited on our new new uh, inventory. We are looking for trades. Definitely need a lot of trades here. 
uh, to help offset that. So give us a call. Let us know, uh, you know, if you need any help. And thanks a lot, and have a great day.